See that looks like a piece of bone <gasps> right there. This is a tooth. This is a tooth. This is a tooth of something. This is a tooth. Holy cow, guys. We knew <laughs> the Peace River. This has been something we wanted to do ever since we got down here. So friends, this video just keeps hitting on all cylinders. Like it's really, really hard to explain. Hopefully the smile on Jolene's face will express some of it, but we are just deep, deep in the woods here in Florida. Hey, what's up friends? Welcome back to Go On. Guys, in this one, we are gonna be building our own DIY little shark tooth sifter. And then we're gonna hit up the Peace River. We're probably gonna hit up the river two or three times in this video, so expect several catches. Let me spin around and show you the project. We'll get through this quickly and then we'll get out on the river. All right, friends, so we have this little shovel scoop here, and this guy is awesome. It's a really good tool to use. There's several different ways to do it, but we really, that one's really good, but we also like this a lot. So we bought this one, it's a little small, and we might have some visitors coming to shark tooth hunt with us. So uh, we need more. And then guys, we wanted to try a bigger one. So friends, we have this guy here and we're gonna be doing a DIY situation. Let me show you what it's all about real quick, guys. Probably the coolest thing we found in terms of fossils yet is this. Now let me know real quick in the comments if you know what that is. Friends, this is a fossilized horse tooth. How cool is that? So we're just loving it. That would be the biting surface there. Learning a lot about all this stuff, but let me show you guys. See, this is my Peace River bag. This thing is just chock full of really good ones. We're not gonna take them all out right now. This one here was from kind of Venice Beach, Blind Pass Beach, all over here in Florida. And then this was also in the Peace River. This is a turtle shell uh, shoot, if you will. And this thing is just too cool. Again, friends, all this stuff is fossils. Now over here, some of the most notable, check out those teeth. So friends, this, these are just some of the notable ones. But as you can tell, look how cool they are. We got bags that we're gonna go through. So on this project, guys, again, this is what we're doing. We're cheating, we're taking their model, if you will, just making it bigger. Probably should have just started building my own in the first place, but we were excited to get out there. Didn't know how long we were gonna be in the area and didn't even know about the Peace River yet. Again, my buddy Austin gave us this. So thanks, man, for ruining my life and getting me into <laughs> this forever. But this is the size that we're gonna be going for. So let me get out the tape measure and I'll show you what we're working with. All right, friends, so mine is gonna roughly be 20 inches. So I cut these down to 18. I actually bought them cut to two foot and that was too big. Uh, so the hardware store actually cut these down for me and you just buy the elbows. We're gonna put just a little bit of super glue. I was really impressed. I saw someone building these saying that they didn't use glue because it just locks together so tight. These guys used a little bit of glue. I could see it in there, but it's not the big concern. We'll put a little bit of super glue, uh, but friends, we're gonna, this wire was what was holding this together. This is probably the biggest thing, more expensive than anything else this mega roll, so maybe we'll end up building more, who knows. These things are like five bucks. I think we got about 10 bucks maybe in materials here, these little elbows and stuff. So let me get through it a little bit. We got zip ties. Again, we're gonna zip tie it together. This wire here, I'm gonna wire the mesh to that. So the only thing that you probably really need is a set of wire pliers. You could probably get by with some snippers, uh, but let me get cutting that to size and then we'll start getting it put together. All right, friends, so I just did a little bit of super glue, got all those guys locked in, ready to go, and now I'm gonna cut this to size. Again, friends, we got these guys I'm gonna use, but if you just have a pair of regular nippers, you can use these to cut that stuff as well. So 
So I am going to use this wire in a lot of places, but I wanted to zip tie a couple little spots just to see how it's fitting. So I was really happy with how this is lining up, but I wasn't happy with this side. So I did cut one little row off, which looks kind of funny. Uh, but now I feel like it's right where I want it. So I'm going to continue just going around and now putting some of that wire and a couple more zip ties on there. So happy how that came out guys. I went ahead and did a couple zip ties on each side matched with this metal. Truthfully that wire is kind of small so I'm thinking the zip ties might be stronger. Don't forget we're going to have more zip ties coming through holding it because we're going to be putting these guys all around too. So that's next. Going to be cutting this to size. Uh, cutting a slit in it. Cutting a slit down the middle of it so it can wrap around it and I'll cut these to size and show you how that looks. Friends, it's starting to come together. Check it out. This thing could eat this other one. So that's kind of why we're doing it. Just a little more workspace. All I got to do now is zip tie up these edges and then we're done. I have this little rope here. Uh, just like for the other one, we don't know what we're going to do about the scoop yet. We're, we're looking at a shovel. It's 32 bucks. We might look on Facebook Marketplace or something, but that's kind of nice there. I do want a rope. That way we don't float it down the river and lose it forever. But let me zip tie this up. And then, friends, I think it's time to get out on the river. So, friends, it's kind of late in the game on this side, but I did learn this little trick. Again, you want to get it as far inside here as possible, but I'm leaving the tip. Oops, I got that twisted around. <clears throat> so I'm leaving the tip just sticking out right there where I can barely grab it. And then I'm actually pushing this down. So it's going to have a top and a bottom essentially because I'm kind of nitpicky. So I want the, the tips of these guys down as far there as you can get so technically this is going to be the top honestly it doesn't really matter i just don't like hooking my hands on these little guys so now that i'm in it i'm able to get these down a little bit better guys i'm so stoked with how this thing came out check it out friends that is going to do the trick for us so you know what? Went a little crazy with the zip ties, but these things are going to hold forever. We're going to be raking shovel after shovel on here, so that thing's super tough. I got my rope here. Still going to figure out how I'm going to hook it to my body, but check it out, guys. I'm really happy with that. Again, for size difference, we upgraded to that. Now we have a little bit of noodle left. We'll be using this if we build another one. And then we got a bunch of this, so maybe for about 10 bucks, we can buy the pipe and build another one. Now, I'm not throwing this away, a little cut off, because the really good ones that I've seen have an extra shelf back here. So they'll extend the aluminum out, and then let me grab with the other hand. When you're sifting, you can kind of like shake it and put it up on here. So that's where it has that extra layer. You can kind of shift it and then search up there because to be honest it's kind of hard to search in this basket so usually you collect it and then maybe dump it on the shore that's what we were doing in the past so i might try to rig this guy uh, that might be a future project we'll see how excited we get about that right now it's all about these guys this is pretty much the most popular thing you're seeing out here but with that friends i say there's nothing left to do besides get to the river so next time you see me will be knee deep in the Peace River. Friends, what I tell you, the next time you saw me, I'd be knee deep in the Peace River. So guys, this is our first couple of scoops. We went ahead, went to Walmart and bought a cheap shovel. So I'm gonna throw a couple on here. 
see what we can find. Alright friends, check it out. Let's see if we see any shark teeth right away. I got one good one already. Look at that. This is why we come out here, friends. One good one already. This piece here might be shell fragments. Of course, some glass from someone's beer bottle. Not too bad with our first scoop. So friends, I'm going to search this a little bit more. And then we're headed out into the middle of the river. I forgot any kind of... guess I'm not searching that. I forgot any kind of protection for my phone. So I think what we're going to have to do at least for the next little bit, is get out there, see what we can find, and then come back to the shore and film. Because I'm going, it's so deep still, so I'm going in the deep past my pocket level. Not a bad little find on our first scoop today. All right, friends, I'm going to head in and check out Jolene's situation. She's trying the big shovel for the first time and the big new thing we made. Here's my finds. We're going to go through all that later. You can already see the little marble. I got some kind of tooth. A couple big ones, but let's get out here and see what she's got going on. Got that guy. Partial shark tooth. Cool. Shovel sure gets a lot more than a little scoop. All right, let's scan for. Alligators real quick. All right, friends, is there a megalodon tooth in there? Is there a horse tooth? Let's see what we can find right on the top. Piece of bone <gasps> right there. This is a tooth. This is a tooth. This is a tooth of something. This is a tooth. Holy cow, guys. We, <laughs> we, can we. It's about time. <laughs> we no <laughs> joke. This is Jolene's first. Oh my gosh, thing. I'm so excited. <laughs> I like... think turning the camera on was the key. Holy crap. I think it's like a. It could be like a camel tooth. It could or be something. a camel tooth. That's yeah. what I keep seeing on there. Look at that, friends. Oh my goodness! And this is just like a bone. See all the see how porous it is right there. That's a bone. We see a lot of this, so we're not gonna keep it. But let's let's keep checking. This must be a good spot. I don't know what this is, but I'm giving it to. This must be a good hey, spot. Shark tooth. Shark tooth there. This is what we find so much of. Friends, this is what keeps us going. These little shark teeth. Well, the teeth, the camel tooth is what keeps us going. But these little guys, you get one, you know, every about every basket, and it just keeps you looking for more. How good is that? Are you scooping another tooth? Yeah, you gotta pull it up slowly. All the light stuff comes off the shovel when you're pulling it. What's this guy? See, that's more of that bone stuff that we find a lot of. This area has a bunch of these shells. These are kind of annoying to me. Get a bunch of shells. I really want to bypass any possible shark tooth. What's that? That's a shark tooth. That's a big shark That's a tooth. a big chunk of a shark tooth. Man. So this shovel was brand new earlier today. That's just mud, but check out the bottom. We've been scooping, man. 
All right, friends, so we made our way off the river and we want to show you our finds from today, guys. There is some exciting stuff here. I don't even know where to begin. Honestly, the top coolest thing was Jolene's camel tooth. Check that out. There's the biting surface. I mean, look at where the roots would be. This is honestly one of our coolest finds. We're out here fossil hunting, not just shark tooth hunting, but we'll put that down there. This thing has some cool spirals to it. Guys, check this out. My, that was Jolene's best. My best today was probably another horse tooth, I think it is. Guys, that's the biting surface there. Here's the back end. I mean, these things are just wild. I love the horse teeth. This guy here was a really cool fossilized shell. Look at, you could see some clear in there. Awesome find there. Guys, check out some of these teeth. This is the back end or whatever end of the biggest tooth that we found so far. The problem is it's not full. So we don't have all of it. That is that is massive, friends. That is massive. Uh, let's see. Here's another tooth. Just a massive one. Some of these guys here are going to be in the top, top of our teeth. This is, what's this one called again? Stingray tooth palette. Stingray tooth palette. A big chunk of that. This one, guys, we're going to have to investigate a little bit more. It's kind of the biggest tooth part that we would have so far, but it's obviously cracked in half really big if anything i would say that's the closest we found a megalodon imagine those two put together uh this guys is another tooth ah i can't tell you how cool that is has the socket there i gotta figure out what kind of tooth this is jolene found that today here's one of those little snails which are just cool to see that fossilized this piece is cool that almost looks man-made look at those grooves the lines in there are really cool another fossil though friends uh, this one we think might be part of a turtle shoot, however you say that, scoot. Uh, but if you look up close, you can see on this stuff, the bumpies. It looks like pebbled leather. Really neat stuff. That's just some of that though, friends. I'm going to put all that stuff down here. We found another big piece of bone. Has really cool curves and just neat color. Uh, and look at all these. Some man-made objects. We found a marble down there. And then a piece of tile. So some cool man-made stuff. Again, some really big teeth. And just some really good examples of nice size shark teeth. So just so many to sift through here. Again, we found some of those tiny, tiny ones that stick to your finger. Neat little fossils has inlay there. All kinds of stuff, friends. So next time you see us, we'll be back on the river, guys. Keep hanging back for this video because it's not stopping here. We're going to keep getting out on the Peace River, finding some peace and having some really good fossil finds. Uh-oh, friends. Uh-oh. 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 We didn't even make it through an entire video and we're back at it again. All right, friends. So I'm pretty sure we got some visitors coming. So we're making another one. We're going in between this size which we're going to be calling mine and the small size we're going in between so this is 18 this is going to be 15 15 wide we're talking and this one here is like 12 so i'm not going to take you through the whole process again but it's happening i'll show you the finished product well we're at the middle of the project and we got everything zip tied cut glued together looking really good you can see it's a little bit smaller than that one so we don't have enough pink to go all four corners so i'm going to do some color scheme and i'll show you the final product check it out friends that's how you feed a shark tooth addiction there's the first one that we bought and we just replaced that little scooper with this thing we'll see i think these are like a buck at the dollar store i might see about getting one of these i stole the scoop from that and changed the color of it to pink got a little carabiner so you can attach this to yourself or you can just have it so you don't lose it Check that out. I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Good color scheme there. Got mostly, mostly pink and a little bit of blue. But that one looks good. It has its shovel. And the big guy here, I've been using this basically just carabiner to myself. And then I'm scooping it with the shovel. So again, that's how that guy's looking. So as I said earlier in this video, friends, next time you see me, I'll be waist deep in either the Peace River or we'll be out at Venice Beach. Okay, friends, I may have lied just a little bit. The next time you saw me, I was gonna be knee deep in the Peace River. Guys, check it out. We are on the canoe. So 
Just by the grace of God, we're able to get a canoe and we're gonna be heading out and checking out this super cool little spot. We've been trying to get to this spot that the guy told us about. It's off the Peace River on a little creek that's basically disguised by this tree. All You guys will see all of this as we come down the river. So there's Jolene hanging out in our awesome canoe, kayaking, canoeing the Peace River. This has been something we wanted to do ever since we got down here. So friends, this video just keeps hitting on all cylinders. I mean, this is just one of the coolest canoe rides we've done yet. All right, so Jolene's making her way into the creek. You can barely see the Peace River behind us there. Ow. And check out the canoe. It's tucked in. You're gonna have to zoom in, see the little bit of red. But friends, this is Ow. what we've been dreaming of, this creek. We're hoping up the river it's supposed to get more sandy because that's where all the fossils pile up. But rocky. guys, rocky, not, not sandy. There's plenty of sand here. This is what dreams are made of. This is what we've been going for. So not a fossil, but our first cool find. This is so old school, man. Love it. No beer left in there, but awesome little find. Friends, let me just try to show you what this is like. It's really, really hard to explain. Hopefully the smile on Jolene's face We'll express some of it, but we are just deep, deep in the woods here in Florida. Nobody's back here but us. And guys, you see that color? Everything we're finding is so much prettier than out on the Peace River. So look at all the color of the rock and stuff that she's digging through. See all the browns and stuff? Let me pull out my teeth that we found so far and I'll show you the cool color. So I know it's not a side-by-side -side of what we have when we're out on the river, but see that brown, all those browns and blues and stuff? We just don't usually see that out on the river because there's such muck or whatever going through there. But this stuff is, it seems like over the ages has been just protected by this amazing brown colored sand that everything is just such a beautiful color. Let's see what Jolene comes up with. We're not gonna show you every scoop. We'll probably do the highlight reels at the end. It's really hard to have the phone out in this water environment uh, searching, but we'll show you some of the highlights at the end. Oh yeah, see Jolene just got one. I think I we're getting one. something on basically every scoop. It's not like amazing. We haven't found a ton of bone or anything like that. A little bit of bone, uh, but I think this, this spot is just going to... I think we're going to find our Megalodon today, guys. Oh, I hope so. Friends, that last spot, check it out. That is our biggest fossil to date. So guys, we are gonna have to see what that buddy is. Friends, I did some research on this and I joined the Peace River Fossil Group on Facebook. And there were some really nice people that as soon as I posted that said it was probably part of a horse foot, horse ankle bone. And so if you look at this picture here, down by the foot, there's the yellow piece of the bone. That's what this is. And then on the next picture here, you'll see another one. So it's the short pastern, the middle phalanx. So awesome find. Obviously the biggest bone that we found so far. Moved on to a new spot. We're gonna be checking this little creek. See all that rock right there? Kind of the little gravel. We're gonna be checking all that area. That's where they build up. Nothing in that one. Oh, check it out, turtle. Oh, cool.
Look at that clean little tooth right there. After finding that huge bone, we decided to venture up the creek because we're thinking maybe it floated down. It's probably not the case. I have no idea. Maybe it all just landed in that area. But let me show you some of the little obstacles we had to go through. Working our way back a little bit, so we made it through all those last little treacherous passes, if you will. Check out all these cool mushrooms. This was kind of the last tricky spot to get through. Finding some neat stuff, guys. We're gonna have to do kind of a, a wrap up at the end of the day and show you guys what's coming out of this spot. All right, friends, we made it back to the river. So tell us, Jolene, what do you think of this hidden creek that we couldn't wait to find? It was beautiful, got a lot of shark teeth, but no megalodons. No megalodons. Let me flip it around and show you guys what we did find. All right, so we are on the canoe having a blast. Check out what we found. So some of the big stuff is this big bone. We're gonna have to get this stuff sorted out. And this is the biggest bone that we showed you earlier that we've ever found. I mean, come on, how cool is that? I have huge hands. Look at that, some turtle shell. This little guy has like a socket. We don't know what that's all about. Not sure if that's a fossil. Of course, you always find man-made stuff like that beer can. A bunch of really, really nice, let's see here. Let's see here. See that color? Just really good color. Like this guy, see these browns and stuff we don't usually see. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about right there. That brown, we don't usually see that color when we're out here in the river. Uh, but guys, this was the biggest shark tooth that we found today. Really impressed with that thing. So after several trips out on the river, waist deep, a canoe ride, making two DIY sifters. Guys, this is the results. We're so happy with that. So friends, we're gonna go ahead and cut it right here. We just pray that we will seek the Lord as much as we're seeking these shark teeth. I think that's something that's been on my mind today. Just kicking back, having a good time, but also thinking, man, as hard as I'm searching for this stuff, I sure hope that I'll pursue the Lord in scripture, in prayer, in devotional, in planting my butt in a pew or preaching, whatever we end up doing. Uh, friends, that's what it's all about, but just so thankful being out in God's creation. So we sure hope you're enjoying these videos. Got a bunch of fun stuff coming down the pipe. Make sure and subscribe. That's the best thing you can do to help out the channel. Until the next video, friends, God bless, get up, and go on.